Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to recover a FreeNAS ZFS volume using Ubuntu Linux. Now, this is very, very specific to my case. However, I think other people are, might also have this problem in the future. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Now, I had my FreeNAS box running and it was perfect. Then Power Surge hit it, PSU died, motherboard died, and then I couldn't boot FreeNAS off of the USB that I had installed it onto anymore. So my data was still there in the hard drives but I couldn't access it using FreeNAS. So this is where Linux comes in. Now this probably won't help you if you've lost data due to drive failure, but it will help you if you ever need a, needed to swap out hardware inside of your FreeNAS system, and for some reason you can't boot into FreeNAS. Uh, so I'm doing this specifically because I don't plan to run FreeNAS anymore, and I just want to get my data off. Right? I want to get it off of those hard drives that are, that are holding it right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is plug the NAS drives containing your data, right? Plug those into a working system. Make sure the system works. You don't want to have to go through different troubleshooting issues down the line. Okay, and then secondly, you're going to want to install a version of Ubuntu onto a USB drive so you could live boot off of it. Now, if you guys don't know how to do that, there's a million guides online on how to live boot Linux off of a USB drive. It's very, very simple. But you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so we've gone ahead and booted into Ubuntu off of that USB. And right now your system should look like free NAS drives attached to the system. And off that same system you're booted into Ubuntu. Off of the USB. So first and foremost I want to apologize for this horrible camera quality. I know it's horrible, but I'm just using a camera to film this. It's a lot easier. And if you have trouble seeing anything or you need further clarification, everything I'd right into this terminal. Everything I type in this terminal is going to be transcribed into the description of this video so you can check it out there as well. Alright, so first things first, you want to plug your system into a internet connection, wire it up, and then from here, because Ubuntu and Linux does not have the native capabilities to read ZFS file system, the file system that FreeNAS uses, you're going to install something that allows you to read it. So you're going to go sudo app get install zfs utils dash linux and you're just going to install that and it'll this is going to allow ubuntu to read it and detect uh, your volumes so it's pretty simple if you're not able to get to this point and it's giving you like connection errors and whatnot make sure you're uh updating ubuntu uh yeah just make sure make sure everything's up to date all right, guys, so once you gone ahead and got that installed, we're on to the next part. Now, I opened up another terminal, but you could do this in the same one. It really doesn't matter. So the next thing we're going to do is sudo zpool import. Now, for me, it says no pools available to import. However, if your NAS drives are hooked up correctly and they're all functioning, you're going to see the names of the volumes uh, that you created in FreeNAS here, right here. And uh, they're all going to be listed. I only had one volume, uh, so it was listed there, named Vol1. And then afterwards, in order to uh, allow it to be accessible by uh, this system, you're going to go sudo zpool import dash f. Use the dash f argument if this wasn't the machine uh, that you originally created this uh, ZFS volume on, which it isn't because it's Ubuntu, not FreeNAS. So y'all are going to probably use this. And then afterwards, just the name of your pool. So mine was vol1. Yours may be something different. Uh, we'll just put my pool. So whatever name comes up when it says uh, after the first command, you're going to put it right here. All right, guys. And that's pretty much it. Your pool should be available to you. I'll show you guys mine. Uh, I mean, your volume, ZFS volume. It should be available for you to do whatever to. Uh, here's mine. Vol1. Uh, because I already did this on this machine, it didn't import it again. It just allows me to access it. So it's here. Free space, 2.6 terabytes. Uh, but yeah, otherwise in here is like <laughs> a lot, a lot of data that I would not have been able to get had I not done this. So hopefully it works for you. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. But uh, yeah, hopefully this works. I know it was a quick video. But, uh, you know, cut the bullshit. Here it is. If it doesn't work, post in the comments. I'll try to help you guys out. Hopefully it does. Bye-bye.